Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. Namshukuru Mungu kwa matendo amenifanyia na magonjo. Amen. Mwezi wa pili nilikuwa hapa. Mwezi wa pili ulikuwepo hapa. Hapa. Oh, nilikuwa nimekukumbuka ule. Kwa tarehe 19. Okay. Nikashuhudia kama nilikuwa naumwa kiuno. Ndio. Nilipata huyo ugonjwa nilikuwa na miaka mikumi. Nyuma nikapata kisukari. Kipindi kile nilishuhudia ndio nilikuwa sijahakikisha kama kisukari kimekwisha. Lakini nilienda kupima nikakutana kisukari kabisa kimeisha. Nikakuta sukari hakuna. Mpa Yesu makofu kabisa. Glory to God that he was healed from a waist problem, but uh, most of all he was diabetic. But when he stood here the first time to testify, he was not sure that the diabetic was gone. But he went back to the doctors and they proved that the diabetes it was gone. So he's here to give glory to God. Amen. I love food na na moyo. Nilienda kwa utali wa kanipima wa utana moyo livimba. Moyo umevimba, umevimba, umepanuka. Eh, nikapata oga sana. Oh. Nilikuwa nikilala, nikigeuka kila wakati moyo unapiga hivi, sikuwa na raha mm. hata siku moja. Kipindi kile nitoka hapa mwezi wa pili, mm. ile tu kusema tutenda Mwanza na toa ile mchango hivyo hivyo. Lakini nilishtuka sijipe yeye moyo liende, umeisha kabisa. Hivi nalala vizuri. is that God have healed him from a heart problem. The heart was sore and the doctor proved so. But he was watching the man of God when he was in, in Mwanza, when the conference was going on. He didn't know how the problem ends, but he's here to prove that he's okay. Kingine nilikuwa na kidonda tumbo. Kuna wakati nilikuwa na kula, nasikia kifuwa kina vimba. Nasikia na kama na beba kitu kifuwani. Lakini muda msimdogo tu kifua kimeisha kabisa hivi na kula chakula chochote huko vizuri na kula chumvi walikuwa nikataza chumvi vitu mafuta hivi na kula kabisa chakula cha chumvi mafuta kila kitu na kula Yesu amekuponya mpe Yesu makofi kabisa Jesus Jesus have healed him also from answers answers so he's here also to give glory to God for that amen bo cha pili Nikila, nikiota usiku sitakumbuka siku moja niliota nilikuwa ndani nyumbani naona askofu anaingia tunasema karibu akapitia ananivuta mkono kanibeba nje tukachukua vite akatukaika vyetu liongea siku kumbuka mpaka hivi sikumbukai kabisa nikiliota bo kwa mwisho mimi nimezaa watoto watano. Msichana wa kwanza, wavulana wanne. Lakini shetani amewateka kabisa umoja tu ndio ananipiaga simu wako nje. Wengine wote karibu miaka na miaka wanipigiagi simu. Umoja tu ndio tukao tunaongea. Anajua shida zangu kila kitu. Basi na ndio shudangu wa mwisho huyu. <laughs> Mbaya yesu makofi kabisa. Kujapa. <laughs> Mateso haya yalikuwa na kisukari ilikuwa na ilikuwa kinaitesa sana moyo kupanuka kila kitu nilikuwa hata nikaenda chooni naomba Mungu kwa siku safari mia basi oh. hata basi nikaenda mbazi kuna sana chikojolea niliteseka sana lakini, lakini kwa sasa ulipokanyaga hapa Mungu akakufungua niko sawa kabisa uko sawa kabisa mpe Yesu makofi Problem ni kwamba una watoto wengine wako nje lakini hawakupigia watoto wa wanne wako nje. Unjeshi. Mmoja kwa Marekani, watatu wako Ireland. 
huko Holland. Eh, sasa wa mwisho wa katikati njoo tunaongeaga tu. Na wale wa katikati ananiambiaga baba, baba we acha tu Mungu siku moja watakutafuta. Siku moja watakutafuta. Ndio. Sasa siku moja si ndio hii. <laughs> That <dance> today. <laughs> <laughs> Bifungwa vilivyo kwa vimefunga maisha yako ndivyo ilivyo funga watoto wako ili usipate msaada wa kuue. The same chain chain to user is chaining yes, your children for they can't help you. Watoto wako wa kike wa kiume wale ambao wakupigisi mkubwa mkubwa ndio mwanamke. Ndio mwana anaitwa nani? Jina lililompa wewe. Jina ni The first born is a girl. Jina lake ni Bape Machu Raisa. Ivo Bape Machu. Maana mimi nitangata mdomo. <laughs> Mrudie tena kumuita maana anatuona. Mm. Anaitwa nani? Bape Macho Raisa. Na mwingine ambaye awasiliane na wewe ni nani? Tony. Eh? Tony. Ivo ivo Tony. Mwingine? Mm. Mwingine jina lake Romeo, njoo wa mwisho. Ndio wa mwisho. Mm. Rome. Romeo. Romeo. Mm. Sasa hawa hawataisha siku tatu, hautafika Burundi, mm. wataanza kukukoli wao. <laughs> Days before you reach Burundi, all your children will fall you. You see how happy you are. You're gonna feel very good when these children start to search for him. Mambe mazako shetani ameshindwa. Tell your neighbor Satan is defeated. Ameachilia familia za watu. You're gonna release families, uh, people's families. Na wewe ambao una sehemu za siri unapata shida. To you that you're suffering on your private parties. Unapata shida sehemu za siri. You having problem in Mwili your private party. Mwili wako wa sehemu za siri una shida. Your body on the private party have a problem. Naponena hivyo Mungu anaingilia kati kukufungua. As a man of God speaking, God is intervening to deliver you. Unashindwa kumweleza mtu yeyote kwa sababu inaonekana kama aibu. You can't explain to anybody because it sounds shamely. Tatizo limekaa kama kama vile una ugonjwa wa zinaa. The problem is as if you have got an asexual infection. Unaumia, unaumia sana. But you it hurts you so much. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye hai. In Jesus Christ the living God. Ndipo nafunguliwa sasa hivi. You're going to be delivered right now. Come out. Toka. Come out. Toka. Kilo falme unaochezea maisha yako. Everything that is dealing with your private party. Come out! Toka! Kwa kusudi hili Yesu Christo amedhihirishwa ili kuzivunja kazi za ibilisi. It was his purpose Jesus I was revealed to break all works of the enemies. Meandikwa katika waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya 3 msari wa 9 kwa kusudi hili Yesu Christo alidhihirishwa ili kuzivunja kazi za ibilisi. It's written in the first John chapter 3 verse 9 it says for this purpose Jesus Christ was revealed to break down all the work of the enemy. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Uko huru kutoka you're, sasa. You're free from this moment. <laughs>